Yep, we're gonna practice hopping on the number line. So if you don't have a number line near you, I will be sharing one on the screen. So don't worry. All right, our first problem says start at five or start at I can't hear you. Okay, the other one's on you. Is everyone muted? I can't hear you either. Looks like everyone's on mute now. Can you hear me? Give me a thumbs up. All right, I see thumbs up. Okay, here we go. Start at six, add five. There's a number line on the screen if you need it. Start at six, add five. See where you land. You can write it on your whiteboard. Yep, when you've got it, start at six, add five. See how many hops and you see where you land. And there's no label because I just asked you to hop. I didn't tell you a number story. So it's just the number. There's no labeling today. Good job. Looks good, Preston. Looks good, Ben Goebel. Nice job, Molly. You wrote the whole number sentence. Nice. Looks good, Chase. Check again, Marnie. Start at five. Or start at six, add five. Keep switching them up. Start at six. Good job, Arlo. The whole number sentence looks good. All right, so follow my cursor. We're starting at six and we're going to hop up five hops. One, two, three, four, five. We landed on 11. So a lot of you got that one right. Good job. Okay, back to the next problem. Let's double check that we got it right. Slide over, 11. Good job. All right, the next problem says start at nine, add seven. Start at nine, add seven. Here's the number line, start at nine, add seven. Seven hops up. Start at nine, add seven, seven hops. Here's the number nine, looks good Marnie. Nice job Chase, nice job Hadley. Good job Ben Goble. Good job Molly. Nice job Preston. Good job, Nora. Yeah, we're hopping on the number grid. You're on the number line very well. Good job. Looks good. All right, so follow with Miss Lumsden. Here is nine. We're going seven more. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You should have landed on 16. Good job. Okay, let's double check that our answer is right. 16, last problem, last warm up problem. Okay, start at 18, subtract nine. So that means we're hopping backwards on the number line. We're hopping towards zero. Start at 18, subtract nine. Okay, find 18. Start at 18, it's down here toward the end, 18. You gotta subtract nine, it means you're going this way towards zero. 18, subtract nine. Nice job, Chase. 
Nice job, Molly. The whole number sentence looks good. Good job, Hadley. Good job, Arlo. Good job, Christopher. Nice job, Marnie. Good job, Cora. Good job, Nora. Double check, Ben Goble. Start at 18, hop back nine. Good job, Molly. All right, here's 18. When we subtract, we go toward zero. We're going backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And you land on nine. Nice job. That means nine plus nine is 18. That leads us into what we're going to talk about today. So you can set your marker and your whiteboard off to the side. All right, Ms. Lumsden is sharing a paper on the screen. Whoops, I drew a little bit. I'm sharing a paper on the screen. I want you to take a look at what you see. What do you notice about this page and how do you think it could help you do math? What do you notice about it and how do you think it could help you do math? If you have any ideas, raise your hand. Take a look at the page. What do you notice? What do you see? What do you think it could do to help you with math? What's your idea, Alicia? There's like two ten like square boxes uh -huh. and 10 plus 10 is equals 20. Nice, that's a lot of observations. So remember we call these 10 frames, 10 frames, and you see two of them and you know 10 plus 10 is 20. Great job. Who notices anything else about these boxes? How do you think it could help you do math? Marnie? Um, that they can help you use pluses and minuses. Yeah, help you do adding and subtracting. Good job. Definitely can. You can fill in these boxes with some point or with some counters and use it that way. That's great. Okay, so I want you to think about how many you have all together. Alicia told us 10 plus 10 equals 20. So you can see 10 over here and 10 over here equals 20. What if I only have one showing? Is there another math problem you can see with just one 10 frame? One side plus one side, what would that math problem be? How many is on one side of just one 10 frame? Arlo? Both sides of five, so five plus five is 10. Nice job, so five plus five down here on these sides, five and five equals 10. So I'm telling you some similar problems. 10 plus 10 equals 20. 5 plus 5 equals 10. We call these doubles facts. Remember when we're adding the same thing to each other. Those are called our doubles facts. So we're going to go over those today. First, we're going to do some quick look cards. So remember our rules and routines with quick looks is that Ms. Lumsden will show it on the screen for just a couple seconds. The quick look cards are double 10 frames. So you're gonna be trying to see how many dots are in the double 10 frames. And remember, you're trying to use strategies beyond just counting all the dots. So I want to see what you see and or I want to hear what you see. So you'll share your strategies with me, okay? Here we go. Here's the first quick look. Remember, it's only going to be on there for a little bit. So you have to be paying attention. Here we go. All 
All right, what did you see? How many did you see? And how did you see it? Molly? There was eight. How did you know there was eight? It's four plus four is eight. Great job, Molly. Thanks for sharing. Four plus four. That sounds similar to the double facts we just were doing, like five plus five and 10 plus 10. So that one was four plus four. You can see it here. Four and four makes eight. That's another doubles fact. Okay, here's the next quick look. All right, it was fast. What do you see? What did you notice about the dots? And how did you see the dots? Alexis? I know because six plus six Yeah, six plus six is, do you know the answer? 12. Nice job. All right, let's slide it back on. Six plus six is 12. You can see six on this side, six on this side, that makes 12. So we keep adding the same number to itself today. That's what all these problems have been. Now I'm gonna do another one. I'm gonna hide this one. What double fact do you see with only one 10 frame? Hadley? So like just a six? Yeah, and what do you see on one side of the six? Three, and then on the other side is another three. Yeah. Six. Good job, three plus three equals six. <laughs> Great job, Hadley. Okay, here's the next quick look. All right, what did you see? What do you think the math problem is for that quick look card? Ben Goble, what did you see? Five and five equals 10. Great job. All right, I'm gonna slide that back on. Five and five, so you can see when half of our 10 frame is filled up, you can see five. There's five again over here on this 10 frame. Five and five equals 10. Great job. Okay, last one. All right, who can tell me what they saw? That was a lot of dots. It was a quick one. Was it too fast? Here, I'll put it back on quickly. It looks like it was too fast for some of us. Okay, double spack. What double spack did you see? There was the same amount of dots in both 10 frames. Alicia, what did you see? 18 dots. 18 dots. What's the double spack? How many was in this 10 frame? Eight. Count again. One, two, three, four, five. So five on the other side. And four on the other side. Makes? Nine. Nine. So nine plus nine equals 18. 18. Yeah, it's the same one we talked about in our warm up. Great job. <laughs> okay, friends, good work on the warm up. So now you're working in your math journal. Your page looks like this, page 57. You need your pencil and your math journal, you are going to write down some double facts. We just did a bunch of them. Then you're gonna think of some that are not double facts. And then if there's any you're not sure of, you can write them here and we'll go over them as a class. Looks kind of blurry, there we go. So page 57 in your math journal, grab a pencil, Write down some doubles facts in the first column. So some facts we just went over. Remember, 
doubles are adding the same thing to itself. You're adding the same number to itself. Think of all the problems we just did together. And then if you have some that you know aren't doubles facts, you put them here. If there's any you're not sure, you can put them in this column. I'll give you a couple, a couple more minutes to write a few, and then we'll start sharing some. Miss Lumsden will fill up her chart so we can all see it. More doubles facts that you know. The example given is one plus one, so you're adding the same thing to itself. Do you have a question, Alexis? What page is it again? 57. Five, seven. All right, does anyone want to turn on their mic and give me an example of something you wrote for in the doubles column? So one that you know is a doubles fact. Which one is a doubles fact? Who has an idea for a doubles fact? Ben Goebel, what did you write there? I wrote four plus four equals eight, and eight plus eight equals 16, 16 plus six, eight, and I wrote two plus two equals four. Wow, that's a lot of them. Thanks for sharing, Ben Goebel. Let's start with the first one. Four plus four equals eight. Give me a thumbs up if you think that's a doubles fact. Four plus four equals eight. Yeah, good job, Preston. It sure is. Four plus four equals eight. That's a double spec. You're adding the same number to itself. Four plus four. Who has another idea? Ben Goble shared a ton. He was using his answer. So when he got eight, he was doing eight plus eight. That's another double spec. That's a great job. He's got a different one for us. Molly, do you have an idea? No? I thought that was your hand, sorry. Oh, Cora, I see you're holding up your journal. Turn down your mic and tell us one that you wrote down. What? What doubles fact did you write here besides four plus four? Did you have a different one that you wrote down? Three plus three, three plus three equals six. Nice job, three plus three equals six. That's a doubles fact. Thanks for sharing, Cora, great job. There's lots of them. Okay, Ms. Lumsden's gonna ask you and you uh, give me a thumbs up. 100 plus 100. Is that a doubles fact? Yes or no? 100 plus 100. Yeah, I should see thumbs up. 100, you're adding the same thing to itself. That's a tricky. 100 plus 100 equals 200. That's a doubles fact. Any of those numbers, you know, adding them to themselves. 5 plus 5, we know that one. We use that a lot. 5 plus 5 equals 10. There's tons of ideas that you could put for double stack. All right. How about an idea for what is not a double stack? So this one says one plus three. What's an addition problem you know that is not a double stack? Who has an idea? Arlo? Um, four plus one. Nice, four plus one. That's not a double fact. It's not adding to itself. Four plus one equals five. Great job. 
So any of those numbers that aren't themselves. So eight plus nine, that's not the same, you know, as the eight plus eight. We have 10 plus 11, those aren't the same numbers, lots of different ones. So any numbers that aren't the same that you could be adding up. Okay, is there any that you're not sure about? Did anyone write some over here that we can help you figure out? Is there ones that you were confused? Do you think of any problems that made you confused? Are they doubles or not? Or did you get them all? This one is an example. Of, they weren't sure because look, the numbers were flipped. 13 plus 31. Thumbs up if you think that's a doubles fact. Thumbs down if you think it's not. 13 plus 31, doubles fact or no? Good job, Ben, good job, Alexis, good job, Arlo, good job, Alicia. Yeah, that's not a doubles fact. It's tricky because the numbers are flip-flopped, but 13 and 31 are not the same number, so that is not a doubles fact. Great job. All right, good work, friends. That is it for double facts today. So your job now to finish up math is Math Journal page 58 and playing a new math game, which is called Roll and Record Double. So that will practice um, adding your double facts. The papers for that game are in your folder from this week. So Roll and Record Doubles. You'll need your dice. And you'll roll and you, then you'll add your doubles. Two plus two, four plus four, three plus three, all those you'll add and practice. And then you'll work on math boxes, page 58. And that will be it for math today. Great job. Remember, doubles facts. You're adding the same number to itself. We're going to make sure we have all these doubles facts memorized before the end of first grade. We're going to keep working on them. All right, thumbs up if you're ready to play, roll and record and do your math journal. You know what you're doing. All right, looks good. Thanks for coming to math lesson today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Miss Bye. Bye, Miss Bye. Bye. Bye, Miss Lumpson. Bye, Miss Lumpson. Bye, Bye, Molly. Bye, everyone.